what was your un, your understanding of who lived at 724 Castle Dale Court? I was uh, told that that was Aiden Fucci's residence. And did you respond as requested? I did. And approximately what time was it when you arrived there on scene at, at that house? Uh, it was a little after midnight. Okay. Can you kind of describe the, the, the residence as, a, as it first appeared to you when you got there? Uh, it was a two-story dwelling with a three-car garage facing southeast. Uh, the downstairs consisted of a front entry dining room area. There was an empty room inside the door, a kitchen, a pantry, laundry room, master suite, and another bedroom and bathroom okay. downstairs. When you arrived on scene, was the scene secured? It was. And how so? Uh, there was crime scene tape around the scene, and there was a deputy on scene for security. What was your understanding of what your role was going to be as it related to this particular house? Uh, I was told that we were executing a search warrant. All right. And um, had a, a search warrant already been um, received, or did you have to wait for one to arrive? Um, I believe we had to wait a little bit, but uh, we didn't make entry until we were told it was ready. Okay. Um, so once the search warrant got there, what did you do? Um, at that point, I photographed the scene and documented the scene, and then a search was performed. All right. And did you take photographs throughout the search of 724 Castle Dale Court? I did. I'm going to go to States 4A. Uh, again, we see another placard here. Can you just describe what this is? Uh, that's my photo placard for the search warrant uh, for May 10th, 2021, with the case number, my name, and ID number, and the location, the address of the search warrant. All right. And moving here to 4B, this is just a front photograph of the home at 724 Castledale? Yes. Now, uh, what I want to ask you here is you had kind of gave a brief description of what some of the interior of the house looked like, and we're going to see some photographs here. Was there um, a particular room in this particular house where evidence was found, and if so, where was that bedroom located? Yes, the upstairs portion of the residence um, contained a bonus room, four bedrooms, two bathrooms, and a common area that was at the top of the steps. And we were um, we were concentrated most of the part in the northwest bedroom and upstairs. That, that would have been the bedroom of Aiden Fuji. Yes. Okay. All right. So going here to states four C, um, what area of the home is this? That's the front entry. And you can see stairs here um, leading up to the second floor. Is that correct? Correct. Right. And then states four D. What, what area of the home is this? That's the upstairs, like, common area, uh, and the door with the stickers on it is the northwest bedroom. Right. Aiden Fuji's bedroom? Yes. Right. And then 4E is just a close-up of that same door, correct? Correct. Right. And go to 4F, what do we see here? It's a photograph with the door open. Right. And the next series of photographs, kind of what are you doing in, the, in those? I'm doing overall photographs of the bedroom. Right. 4G. The desk area. 4H. Just a, 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 from the door to the corner showing the bed. 4I. And then straight down the, the other wall. So you basically just kind of pan the room, is yes. that correct? And then 4J, what do we see here? That's a, just an overall from the opposite corner showing the closet. All right. And was that closet searched? Yes. Uh, let me back up a little bit. Um, were you doing this by yourself? Do you have, have help with No, you? I had uh, Sergeant David Garns and Detectives uh, James Gimenaro, uh, Jesse Howell, John Newman, and Kermit Kidder. And sort of what was everybody's roles in the search of the home? I've documented the house with photography, and as they were finding items uh, of relevance, they would call my name, and I would come and do a, an overall mid-range and close-up uh, of the item located. And some of these detectives that you mentioned that were assisting you, uh, were they uh, also assisting you in helping search this particular bedroom that belonged to Aiden Fucci? Yes. All right. And was your attention brought to some items that were located inside the closet? It was. All right. And in here in 4K, what do we what do we see here once the closet is open? Uh, the dresser that was inside of the closet. All right. Going here to 4L, um, what do we see here? Uh, the the middle 
uh, drawers of the dresser inside the closet, um, specifically the left drawer that has photo marker number two. And what was located in that drawer? That was in uh, a black buck sh brand sheath that was empty inside of that drawer. All right, and then for four M's, it's just a close-up of that sheath that was found? Yes. And was that collected and placed in evidence? It was. Going back uh, to going to 4N, what, what, what is this? That's another photograph of the dresser where the items on the right side of the dresser between the dresser and the wall were removed. Right, and then 4O? Uh, photo marker number three where items of evidence were located at the bottom. And what a particular interest was located in this area? Uh, it was one pair of wet, uh, white Nike brand high top athletic shoes with possible blood. And uh, All right, I'm, I'm going to go to four uh, okay. P. Is, are those the shoes that you referred to? Yes. And were they removed from that location? Yes. All right. And then going to states four Q and R. What are those? Are sorry. Just overalls of the shoes. And you indicated that um, there was substance found on these shoes? Yes. And what did it appear to be? Possible blood. And were those, and you said the shoes were wet? Yes. And were those shoes collected and placed in evidence? They were. And then were they sent, um, later sent to FTLE for analysis? Yes. Okay. All right. Um, photograph 4S, what do we see in this photograph? That is a white t-shirt that was located underneath the dresser when the dresser was removed from the closet. And that was brought to your attention and you took photographs of it? Yes. Was there anything unusual about this white t-shirt that was found behind that dresser? It had possible blood on it also. And is that seen in this photograph? Yes. All right. And then photograph 4T. Just a close-up of the, the bottom portion of the t-shirt. And was this shirt also sent to FDLE for analysis? Yes. Moved for you. What do, what do we see in this photograph? It's a pair of blue jeans. And where were those blue jeans found? Those were in a laundry basket in that room. All right. And was there anything unusual about these particular pair of blue jeans? Uh, they appeared damp. Um, and then when I got them back to the office, you could see possible blood. All right. Um, so you, they were collected in place in evidence? Yes. And were they sent to FDLE for analysis? Yes. All right. Moving here to 4V. Um, what do we see generally in this photograph? This is an overall view of the desk that was in the room. Was there anything of particular interest found on this desk? Um, there were some drawings uh, that were located on the desk that were photographed. All right. Moving here to 4W, um, do we see any of the drawings in this photograph? Uh, at the top of the photograph underneath the water bottle is one of the drawings. Right. Were any photographs found in any of the composition books that were located or notebooks that were found on that desk? Uh, the black book in the left, uh, bottom left corner underneath the water jug had a photo, uh, a drawing also that was photographed. Right. And going here, states for X, which, which of those, was this one of the notebooks or the? Yes. Right. And that, this was what he found in the notebook under the water jug? Yes. going to states for why um, what is this and where was it found that was another drawing and I don't recall where that one was found but it was in the vicinity of the desk yes and states for Z what is this and where was it found that is the drawing that was underneath the, the water bottle that was at the top of the first photograph Again, all these items were found in Aiden Fuji's bedroom. Correct. Did you also attend um, the autopsy of Tristan Bailey? I did. And did you, what was your general role um, during the performance of the autopsy? I photographed the autopsy um, and also collected evidence. Right. Did
Did you, as a part of that process, did you collect um, DNA standards um, from Tristan Bailey? I did. Okay. And that would have been like a um, buccal swabs, things that, you uh, know, blood standard that could yes. identify her DNA. One moment, Your Honor. Okay. Was there anything found within Tristan's body um, that you collected in evidence that was later sent to FDLE? Uh, yes. Um, I was advised that Dr. Bulick had located a possible metal fragment in her scalp. Okay. And did you um, obtain that from the medical examiner's office and send that to FDLE for analysis? I did. Thank you, Ron. Nothing further.